Hello friends, Sanjeev here. And today we are here with another interesting topic, understand cloud computing in 10 minutes. Well, it's gonna cloudy anyways. So before I start to explain the topic, I would request you to subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on bell icon to get regular notification for our new videos. So let's get back to the topic now. So what is cloud computing? Is it like the way people are going to moon or Mars? Will someone send information to cloud and cloud would do the computing for you? Well, it's not, and it's not that simple either. But don't worry, in next 10 minutes, you are going to understand what is cloud computing, how it is different from traditional computing, features of cloud computing, different types of cloud computing, various ways of uh, cloud deployments or cloud delivery models, cloud security models, logging and monitoring, and various resources to move ahead after this tutorial. Well, to understand cloud computing, let's see what are where the challenges in traditional computing. Well, before cloud computing era, if we have to host a website or develop a mobile application or looking for data storage solution, well, we had to struggle with memory, performance, regular updates, infra issues, and also security issues. I mean, there are many other as well. Economically, it was beyond the reach of small companies to establish these features in-house. And if site is down or data is not backed up regularly, or if the traffic is high suddenly, site would be damn slow or would crash. You would never visualize the resources utilization in advance. So these were the actual challenges with traditional computing. Then here comes cloud computing. All right. So here is the formal definition of cloud computing by NIST. Well, cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources like networks, servers, storage, application, and services that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. Well, which means you can concentrate on your business and let someone take care of your underlying infrastructure and other complex technical stuffs with an advanced way and that too with an affordable price. So you are actually using lots of cloud services already. For example, when you are sharing a file over Google Drive, Dropbox or OneDrive or using Excel online, using email services, like Gmail, Outlook, storing your personal files, launch a static website with CDN or install WordPress with one click, create a chatbot for your business and so on. So we use these services and need not worry about hosting, performance, security, etc. Everything cloud provider does that for you. So the major advantage of cloud computing. Well, you pay as you go. So pay per uses, basically termed as metered service. Now stop spending money for your data centers. Well, that was very costly. So lots of cost reduction and reliability security is there. You can use broad network access, utilize advanced networking to promote your business like CDN and all. There is rapid elasticity, so you can scale vertically anytime you want without auto-scaling concept. Now, there is on-demand sales service. Whenever you want any service to be available for you, you can use that service. Or if you don't want, just stop it. Now, so stop guessing the spike in advance. Like you never know when your site is going to get more traffic, when your site is uh, going to get less traffic. So based on that, you auto scale and you just stop guessing all these things and you can go global just in a minute. So now you know what cloud computing is and how it's useful for any kind of business and technologies. So let's see now what are all the types of uh, cloud computing deployment models? Well, there are four public, private, community, and hybrid. We'll see the first one as public cloud. So 
the clouds which are available for public and uh, data is stored on third party servers service providers manage them and administer underlying resources they offer resources for free or for pay per uses well the examples of uh, public cloud service providers are like aws amazon web services azure by microsoft or google cloud platform commonly known as gcp there are many like ibm cloud alibaba etc so public cloud is easy to use but can have reliability and security issue as compared to other models so let's see about uh, private cloud well technically there is not much difference than public cloud but think public cloud as a bar open for all and private cloud is like a party with uh, closed people and managed by a company or individual so private cloud can be managed by single organization or multiple but provisioned only for the private use it may exist in cloud or on premise uh, like uh, vmware openstack red hat aws azure so it is surely uh, customizable but more secured Uh, would cost little high now let's go back to the community cloud this cloud is specifically meant for various organizations sharing same interest or concerns like mars mission or federal government projects it can be managed by one or more organization in the cloud it may exist like on premise or off premise like in cloud so this model is suitable for organization that work on joint projects well now the last one is hybrid cloud well hybrid cloud is a combination of two or more above mentioned cloud deployment types based on the business or requirement to get best out of it well most of the enterprises use combination of these for their projects uh, as we have seen four types of cloud computing deployment models now let's see different types of uh, cloud computing service models or delivery models well uh, there are three common one like software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service well there are many others nowadays but we will concentrate on these three so let's see software as a service well it's the most abstract level of cloud service model where consumer does not manage or control the underlying components like hardware networks storage servers and will have only limited access to application configurations settings now some examples like gmail dropbox outlook Zoho, WordPress, Quora, Pinterest, Instagram and so on. Now let's see platform as a service. So now imagine you want to host a website but you don't have infrastructure. What you have is your code, libraries and tools that cloud service providers can support, right? Then what you need is a platform to deploy your code, tweak your settings and you are online in few minutes. rather than few days well such service delivery model is called a platform as a service you don't need to actually worry for underlying infrastructure its security network server os storage etc well some examples are uh, like heroku aws uh, elastic beanstalk or uh, force.com etc now here comes the most interesting but complex service model infrastructure as a service well in this service model consumer can have access to operating system network storage firewall computing services and able to run deploy arbitrary software including applications uh, even operating system well still the underlying cloud infrastructure will be taken care by the cloud service provider think of uh, amazon ec2 um like or the whole amazon web services as well as the infrastructure as a service google cloud platform microsoft azure uh, then digital ocean uh, rake space etc those are the examples of infrastructure as a service so now you understand what is cloud computing its advantage uh, deployment models 
servers, service models. So now you need to decide wisely which service models you are going to use, uh, what deployment models you should use, what are the advantages uh, that you have for that, how you are going to deploy that, and whichever uh, suit for your business. So you also need to take care of uh, pre or uh, post deployment settings, right? Uh, for compliance and audit purpose, for uh, security purpose. Also, you need to log uh, all the important information for different uh, security purposes like compliance, audit, and uh, a monitoring of uh, all your uh, API activities, abnormal behaviors, or maybe you need to need it for your business analysis. So don't assume that a cloud service provider would take care of security for you. Well, in cloud world, it's a shared resources security model. So depending upon the different service model, both decide which part of security is customer security and which one is for cloud service providers. So first we will uh, talk about uh, on-prem and then we will look about shared security response model. In on-prem, you have to take care of the security of everything, be it networking, storage, servers, or virtualization OS. I mean, all these stacks uh, are your responsibility. But when you uh, see infrastructure as a service, so the blue one is your responsibility and the green one is cloud service provider responsibility. So now in platform as a service, you already have to uh, take care of your application and data only. So when you talk about uh, software as a service, basically you provide only the either the content uh, while using that application. So you need to take care of the content uh, that is there in your application and its compliance thing or any other security related aspects of those data. The rest of the thing will be taken care by cloud service provider. So the way security is very important aspects, uh, logging and monitoring is also equivalent important and you can consider is part of your cloud security. So log every activities for uh, different security and audit purposes also for incident, uh, per, I mean security incident purpose as well. So it is um, very important for anomalous behavior detection, or uh, monitor for anything unusual activities, even for the inf investigation after an uh, incident happens or also fulfills uh, audit and uh, compliance requirements. So detect ongoing attack and so on. So now we have covered the basics of cloud computing, which will surely help you to figure out if it suits your uh, business or your personal interest. Also, it would help you to decide that you should learn and make a career in cloud computing now. Well, I have published a video on uh, YouTube. Um, the title is Top 5 Reasons to Learn Cloud Computing, which would surely make you to think about cloud computing learnings. Well, FlexMind also offers many cloud-related uh, online self-paced courses. Also, I would uh, uh, publish my next video on cloud computing fundamentals course. So stay tuned guys and uh, subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet. Don't forget to like, share the video and please share how useful this tutorial was for you in comment box. Thank you.